Hey everybody, today we are out in western Utah's Cedar Mountains and we are at Hastings Pass right now. Hastings Pass is part of the Hastings Cutoff which was a route that was used by the early pioneers as they traveled out across the western desert. Coming up in this pass helped them to avoid the much harsher and drier area of the Great Salt Lake Desert. And I believe that this place also had one of the few water sources in this region. So that's what made it an attractive place for them to come up through on their way west. I believe that this was also part of the route that the ill-fated Donner Party came through before they got across Nevada and got stuck in the Sierra Nevada mountains back in the mid-1800s. So we're going to take a little walk up this road. Let the dogs get out, stretch their legs a bit. The three of us are on day one of a five-day trip that is going to take us out across northern Nevada and into the Oahe Canyonlands area of southeastern Oregon. Now, I've driven through that area a lot, but I've never really stopped and spent much time there. So we're going to go out there, do some hiking, wander around a bit, and look at the country. This is our first stop on this trip. And I've been up here before. It's a real nice little area. Great pit stop. So this area is just a little ways off of I-80 as it heads west towards Nevada. This is before you get to the Great Salt Lake Desert. And it's a really nice spot to just come out, check it out. The Cedar Mountains are a uh, federally protected wilderness area. They're pretty much undeveloped. You have a couple, a couple little roads that go across them, like this one. But for the most part, it's just a lot of rolling hills like you see ahead of us. There's a fair amount of juniper and pinyon forests. And this being early June, they're quite green. Lots of fresh grass. It's really pretty out right now. We had a big storm that just came through northern Utah the last couple of days, and it's got everything well watered, looking nice and green. I'm gonna pan this around a little bit. Those mountains over there are the Stansbury Mountains. Those are on the western side of the Tooele Valley, and the highest peak that you can see over there, if my finger gets to it, that's Deseret Peak. I'll be taking all of you up there at some point, probably next month. Going to wait for the snow to melt a little bit more. But it's a really nice area. That is also another federally designated wilderness area. And those mountains, they're pretty tall. Deseret Peak is almost 11,000 feet. There's, uh, I think there are three lakes up in there. Lots of really nice alpine country. With this being June, there's probably going to be a lot of wildflowers blooming, so that adventure will probably happen in the next couple of weeks. There's a lot of really cool and interesting history out here in the West Desert. Places like Hastings Pass and the Hastings Cutoff. Definitely worth your time to come out and explore it. The road to get up here is in pretty good shape. You could probably do it with just a car. There's nothing really you need four wheel drive for, nothing high clearance. It is, however, a little bumpy, so you'll want to take your time. Now this is all BLM land, so of course you can come out here and camp. It's mostly just dispersed camping, not a lot of developed campsites. There's plenty of places just off of the road that you can pull off. A fair amount of them have little fire rings. And it's not too far from the city. The few times that I've been out here, I've never seen anybody. So it's a nice remote area too. So right here is the Hastings Cutoff Summit of Hastings Past. I'll read to you what it says on this piece of railroad tie. It says, turning west up each practicable ravine, the distance of some six or seven miles to the top of the ridge, the last two miles of which were up some very steep hills. That was a quote from 
Pardon Dexter Tiffany, July 5th, 1849. This was part of the California Trail and the Oregon California Trails Association. I believe are the ones that put these little markers up here so people can come up here and see what the historical significance of this area was. So we're gonna go over there and check out this little white marker. Well, it looks like this is just a trail marker. This is the actual trail right here that they took up to Hastings Pass. We were just up on this hill. You can see the little uh, that stand with the railroad tie up there. Now the road, of course, goes up to this lower section of the pass, and that's where we parked. But it's a really nice area out here. I would highly recommend if you are in route to Nevada or Wendover or someplace out west, and you're looking for a nice little spot just to pull off, to get out, stretch the legs, let the dogs run around, this is a perfect place to come up and spend a little time at. It's got some absolutely beautiful views. Today, of course, being no exception, got lots of nice white clouds. A Little bit breezy. It's nice and cool out. It's been really hot over in Salt Lake City the last couple days. One of the problems with the Hastings cutoff was that it was not very well established. The main California trail was well worn by travelers. The Hastings cutoff lacked clear markings or wagon ruts to follow. Ahead of the Donner Party, Hastings Party ran into some serious trouble when they tried to traverse Weber Canyon. So this area was not the ideal route. It was one that quite a few of the early pioneers en route to California and Oregon ended up taking nonetheless. So we're gonna head down, continue our journey westward. We're gonna cross the Great Salt Lake Desert and go through Wendover, Nevada and into some of the mountain ranges to the west. And we'll find some place to camp for the night. But Hastings Pass, if you ever find yourself out here in the Cedar Mountains, come and check it out. It's a nice historical area and definitely worth stopping and looking at.